This is CNN Breaking News. Hello, everyone. I'm Don Lemon, live at the CNN World Headquarters in Atlanta. You're looking at that picture of Whitney Houston, and it does say 1963 to 2012 because CNN has confirmed that Whitney Houston has died at the age of 48. Both the Los Angeles Times and CBS News are both now reporting that Michael Jackson has died. The singer Amy Winehouse has been found dead in her North London flat, just 27 years old. Mac Miller died Friday of an apparent overdose at age 26. And Variety, among other outlets, is reporting Miller, whose real name is Malcolm James McCormick, age 26, died of an apparent overdose. Fans and neighbors leaving flowers, candles, notes on rapper Mac Miller's doorstep. Those close to him struggling with the fact that he is gone at the age of 26. For me and a lot of Max fans, we grew up with his music. Like he, he progressed as a person and musically as I was like maturing and going through like even puberty and shit, like through grade nine to now, it's like so basically he was he was there through like every phase. My two years of college were like the most depressive. Yeah, the most depressive years of my life. I had like insomnia. I couldn't sleep for like two years, basically. And and he dropped that Faces mixtape, uh, which is like the one I just related to the most because of the timing when it dropped and the content that was on it and everything. Then when the Divine Feminine came out, um, that was actually super aligned where where I was because that was like a, a sober album, which like not that I had a drug addiction, but I felt like more sober and like grounded, and and I was I was not consistently depressed. And it was like a love album and it dropped like the week after I got into my first relationship. So that was a little like eerie also, the timing of that. Um, and then the last project, Swimming, dropped like, like two months ago now, three months ago. And, and yeah, the past like year, because he took two years to make that one, which was the longest he's ever taken. And that project during that time is like, I haven't been like depressed or anything in like a year. So that aligned also with my mental state. I don't know. It's... It's crazy. First of all, that a life was lost, and then like there was no more music to come out of um, someone I related to, which means so many other people did also, you know? I just want to say thank you to everyone. We're going to continue the music after, but later tonight, if any of you want to say anything, if you want to sing anything, if you want to rap anything, come find me or either my brother Evan and let us know and we'll put you on. I also would like a round of applause for my brother Evan. It was his idea to host this memorial. And I think he'd like to say a few words. Uh, I would just like to say thanks for being patient through this. Um, it's amazing to see how much Mac can influence so many people. And like, I just hope he sees the love tonight and how like, this is amazing. Um, I don't have many words to say right now, except let's just fucking honor him with this one amazing night. He was a role model and 
So then when he passed, it was, there's, there's no other way to say it, but it was like there was a hole because like, I get, yeah, there's no other way. I feel like the, the way to say it is a part of you died, even though it's been said and it's cliche, but it's like there's, there is a hole missing because they were such a big part of my influence growing up. You know, I feel a close connection to Mac. I, I see all your beautiful faces coming out tonight. Um, and it's, 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 it's a blessing to know that a lot of people feel the same way. Um, one of the songs on Mac's last album, Swimming, was called Self Care. And I, I think it's important for us to recognize that there's a difference between self care and self medication. We have a community of people here who, who are, are having love and, and admiration and, and, and a memorial, and that, that's a beautiful thing. And I just wanted to say, rest in peace to Mac, and his legacy will live on. For my depression, insomnia, and chronic migraines, I was prescribed the pills for all of them. And I didn't take any of them. But I feel like I'm a minority there where people are like, oh, you have the answers, let me take those. And I was just like, I never want to deal with, I never, first of all, I never thought my problems were so severe, even at their worst, that I had to. And I was always like, what's, what, what would I gain? Like, what would actually happen? It would just be like a temporary fit. It'd be the same thing as going and getting wasted or smoking a joint or doing harder drugs. Kendrick Lamar once said, we're all suicidal kids telling other suicidal kids not to commit suicide. And I feel like this is one of those situations where there may be a lot of people who are hurting or in pain or in mourning and just coming together and having an open dialogue that about that is so important. If you are in a situation where you yourself are hurting, that there are people in your life that love you and want to see you do better, no matter your circumstance. Um, you may think otherwise, but they're there. And this is a perfect example of that. This is a perfect example of love and compassion within the community towards a cause that's all very dear to our hearts. I've seen maybe two of my friends cry since, since high school. You know, like, maybe. Yeah, and that's crazy. Like, how many times, in women friend groups, especially, like, when I get older and I'm, like, hanging out with them more and, and like, you could form real platonic friendships. Um, which is also a male ego thing that has to be worked on. But um, yeah, it's like they could literally talk about feelings for hours and cry. And it's like, wow, that I'm envious. The fuck? Like, I never got that. And I, I like um, now with my friends, it's like when guys get older, you have like slightly different conversations where you don't have to sound like the macho alpha male that's got everything under control. But like. Actually, I feel like we're at an age where most guy friend groups, if you cry, it'll be cool, but you're still scared to. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like if I were to break down and cry in front of my friends, they got me, and it's cool, and we could talk about it. But the, the, the feeling of just, like, clenching your throat and, like, swallowing your tears, is, it's instinct in us, right? Because we don't see our dads do it, and we don't see our role models do it, and, and yeah. But I think that's changing. I think it, we're becoming more and more like sensitive, yeah. R.I.P. Mac Miller, I used to put on faces to survive the night when shit was cold and it was me and suicide alone. I almost went, my self-love was too fucking bent for me to see what had come good in the AM then that was me, somehow, happy as can be. But it was only for the moment, and fuck, I almost lost it. The night I took the car and headed into a wall until I skated and drifted off. Still far from escaping suicidal thought, but you kept on in the public eye, looking happy and sober. So I'm like, fuck it, I gotta get older. So I held you to a flame. So on this tragic day, I'm lost because you passed away. A homie, no judgment here, just a worried ear. And eerie as it seems, it's the same thing that rings through me. Until I'm suppressing them screeches, cause I'm worried as shit. If you couldn't hang on, then how could I? 
Why not just die and take off self-care? Rewind to 2009 to when I needed some humble pie. But now I'm fucking scared just to say goodbye, especially when no one even knows of the places I could go when I'm left alone. This shit is eating at my throat. I got love for you, which means others do too. I just hope your family well and that they turn the internet off for they make you as a pop star's ex. But what to do next? I don't believe in an afterlife, but rest your soul, God bless your art. It'll live on, trust me on that. Beyond rap, you'll transcend deeper than that. In fact, I'll do it on my own. <laughs> Turn to a Jehovah's Witness and just knock up on their door, promoting what the fuck you stood for. God damn. You let everybody in and still that didn't fix. I know that ain't the message to these kids, but forgive me if I wallow in disappointment and swim all of my sorrow. Like, like to live, I have to be a bigger man when in retrospect I was only a fan. God damn.